fun stuff and I've been like racking my brain as to like what to do right and it was interesting because this morning I get a handy dandy little text message or whatever from one of our friends and one of our fellow patrons here Franz and Franz thank you very much for this but he just asked he's like hey dude why don't you do something very similar to like what Johnny Hauser did in the show Johnny Hauser Verse, right? So he did Johnny Hauser Verse, The Villisca Axemarger House, and then he did Johnny Hauser Verse, Malvern Manor for season two. He's like, since you're the guy that knows everything pretty much about this place, why don't you investigate this place and make it into like an episodic type of series or whatever? And it's like, so simplistic that I was like, Duh, of course, like, why can't I do something like that? So here we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a continuous shot. It is going to be just me and the camera and some fancy little fun little toys or whatever that I have uh, picked out. Toy number one, let me grab this stuff real quick. Toy number, number one, one is going to be this, which is this, is just an EM pump. pump. So I have now I turned, turned it on, you can see the fun little blue light. light. What, what this, this is, is doing is pumping, pumping out electromagnetic energy into this room, room, basically. You can see here, using a standard K2 meter, that once it gets close enough or whatever, it's peaking pretty good. You can pull it away. I can bring it in. You can see it's peaking pretty good. So this, this is going to go just directly in the middle of the floor, right here, where it can then pump out all this energy. Now here, obviously we have the K2 meter with the EM pump going. Not exactly sure how accurate of a read we're going to get with with this, right? Um, however, it's here, just in case we do pick up anything anomalous. I mean, even right now, I'm not getting a reading on the device. So I'm gonna put that over here by this creepy ass doll. And then of course, we have the fancy, fancy schmancy little EDI plus machine. All ready. All fucking ready. So first and foremost, guys, I don't know if you can hear this yet or not, but there is a... There is a buzzing sound that is coming from the EM pump. It makes kind of a type of noise. So that's just something that we have to kind of live with. Um... But, regardless, as of right now, this is reading temperature. This EDI machine is reading temperature, and it says it's a, a balmy 53 degrees in here right now. Um, I am going to be probably switching this over a little bit so we cannot see that, but we are going to get a more accurate read in milligauss. So we are going to be measuring then electromagnetic energy. Okay. 
So guys, I don't know if you can see this machine really that well. However, there's a series of blue lights that are down here that will illuminate the higher the, higher the uh, EM field is. So let's see what we can do. Let's set this just over here. Guys, already we're getting some interesting readings going on. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the lights. Now also, before we do this, I want you to see that I am also wearing a lavalier microphone right here. This little guy that's right here. Um, so I am wearing that. So not only do we have the audio from right here, but we also have... The audio from the camera. Now, the audio from the camera isn't that good. However, if something anomalous does happen, it very well may pick it up. Um, it may pick it up better than what I am wearing right here. As this is very condensed, uh, like a condenser type of microphone for better quality sound. Um, so we're just going to roll with this and we're going to see. Already, guys, I'm seeing over here, we're rocking a very steady 1.4 to 1.7 milligauss which kind of tells me if it's that solid and that steady that most likely something else is causing that so i may need to move the device to kind of rule out any false positives so we're going to move it just over here real quick and we're going to see if that helps which of course it does not because now it's reading 2.2 to 2.3 milligauss so there's something very odd going on with the wiring apparently maybe i don't know if I put it here on this chair, we're reading zeros. So we're doing pretty good over there on that chair. So I'm going to kind of switch the angles here a little bit. And we're going to see if we can, if we can get all these devices in here simultaneously, which we're doing okay. So again, down here below, we've got our little... Uh, EM pump going, and then over here we have the EDI plus, and way over here by that creepy ass doll on that table, we have um, our little K2 meter. Okay, so guys, I'm going to hit the lights, and we are going to go. What the fuck is that noise? Okay, so I'm going to check and see. What our shot looks like in the dark and see how well we can pick things up not too shabby so guys i do have one light that is just up here it's up top up here um it's kind of helping us a little bit but that's about as good as it's going to get for now okay so I'm going to flip this around so I can kind of see myself as I do my thing. Hello. So guys, you know me, obviously, because I'm here every day, basically every day. But I want to talk to you. I don't get many opportunities and many chances to, to talk to you. Most of the time, I'm just showing people around the building, and they're the ones that get to do all the investigating. I, usually just get to show them around and then and then go home footsteps guys another thing that I'm trying to be kind of aware of I guess is the 
simple fact that this device here on the floor um, is pumping out a fair amount of electromagnetic energy, which in certain cases can cause what is called like the fear cage effect, right? Where, um, where people can either one, get physically sick, two, uh, hallucinate, I mean all sorts of things can happen with this. Um, so I don't know, I guess we're going to find out, but man, it's a very, very interesting feeling when you're kind of surrounded by that all the time. Whew. I'm just going to go up with the, with the shot a little bit here and kind of raise it. We don't really need to see the device on the floor, do we? It don't really matter. It doesn't. What the hell? Hello? Okay. Stepping in front of the camera. That was nuts. I gotta flip this around. Kind of freaking out a little bit here, guys. So anyway, so guys, if you're here and you'd like to come and talk for a little bit, I would love that. You know, I love hanging out with you. I love being here in the building. It's kind of my home away from home, really. And I really enjoy myself when I'm here. Let me check this real quick, guys. Right? So guys, if you are here, could you come down into the lobby here with me? Let's hang out for a little bit. Let's chat for a little bit, if we can. Okay, so mark that. That was like a disembodied voice or something. I, I swear to God it was something. Are you trying to talk? Read something again. This is interesting. What about one of you kids? What about Inez? Or what about Eunice? Would one of you girls like to come down here and and talk to us for a little bit. Holy shit. It was directly above us. That's a car outside that just turned on, probably a truck, is what it sounds like. That noise that was just above us was a very loud thump. Eunice, are you here with us? Eunice, I know that you were only 12 years old when you passed away. We also know that it was December 31st, 1910, when you passed away. And it was right here in this building.
Eunice, in any way are you able to help us understand maybe where in this building you passed away? Holy shit. Guys, I'm tingling all over the place. I don't know if you heard that. Eunice? Eunice Stamper, are you here with us? And then drop it away. Patiently waiting for the truck to leave. That was intense. That was like a, a direct response where it almost sounded like somebody was taking like a, like a piece of paper, a couple of pieces of paper and kind of rubbing them together almost is what it sounded like. It sounded like it was coming from right back over, over here. So I'm not sure if that's what was going on or what, but right back over there. Eunice. Lots of footsteps. Lots of footsteps. Whew. Guys, let me just go on record here and say this, okay? Investigating the paranormal is a blast. It's so much fun. Is that me or is that something else? Something is going on. Okay, those noises are made my feet. What I was saying was this. Investigating the paranormal is a blast. I love it. It's my job. However, investigating the paranormal alone is a whole new ballgame. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I'm going to try a little something real quick with the light. Just to fix. See if I can fix. Whew. I'm going to try to brighten it up a little bit more. Didn't really work. That's not too bad. Okay. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, this, this is pretty intense. Okay, so it seems that we were getting the most, holy shit. What just happened? The fucking light just went up. The fucking light just went out. Give me a fucking break. What is happening? What the fuck is happening? Okay. Okay. It's cool. I got another battery. I'm gonna go grab the battery. We'll be right back. Holy shit. Grab this. Maybe this will work. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Working in the dark. Working in the dark. There we go. Okay. Absolutely zero reason that should have happened just because we I mean that that this is a new battery, the one that I just had, the brand new battery. Like freshly charged is what I should say, not a brand new battery, but...
Holy shit. Eunice, is that you? There's another truck that's passing right now. You can hear that pretty good. Let me just make sure that we're still rolling on like audio too. Okay. We're going. We're going good. Still going. Still moving. Okay. Eunice. Was that you that shut off my light? Shit! Are you kidding me? Okay, this is what goddamn ridiculous. The fucking thing went out again. Another new battery. What the fuck? Okay, fuck this. You guys are coming with me real quick. We're getting out of here. Wow! What the fuck? Guys, welcome to the studio. Haunted dolls. Bunch of junk, more junk. What's up, Mitch? Um, guys, okay, two, two batteries that just, that just died. You gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that even happen? Fresh batteries, okay, so these, trying this. I thought these were dead. These are dead. These are dead. This probably won't work either. No. Okay. Those are dead. Shit. Oh my god. How are you killing my fucking light? Okay. Fuck it. Whew. Okay, so we're back in the room. But we definitely need some form of light. And obviously, that's not gonna happen with my shit. Wow. Okay. Interesting that I kind of bring up Eunice. Interesting that I bring up Eunice and shit starts to go weird. And kind of wonky or whatever. However, so I bring up Eunice twice, and my brand new batteries get freaking zapped. Give me a break. Okay, well. I'm gonna turn this back on. This is ridiculous. Put this over here. So I bring up Eunice Stamper and everything starts to go haywire, right? So why would that be? Not once, but twice. She kills my batteries, man. Everybody out there watching this right now is like, yeah, welcome to fucking ghost hunting, jackass. <laughs> yeah. So, Eunice, if you're here, I still really enjoy talking to you. I'd like to interact with you in some way, if we can. More footsteps of us. But Eunice, if you're here, 
Is there a way you could go up to this little orange box that's sitting over here on this on this chair? And if you if you touch it or whatever, that'd be great. I'd love to know if you were here. step away from it, it'll work. I'm not sure. Yes, I got my I got my heart pumped out a little bit. Jeez. That was really cool. Um, again, <laughs> like I mentioned her name, the light goes out. Mention it again, the light goes out again. Zapped, my battery's dead. Um, those of you that know me also know that I'm a very meticulous, almost to a fault, son of a bitch. I, uh, my batteries, my equipment, like if I know I'm going to do something that day, that night, or the night before, or whatever, like my shit is charged up, ready to go. My lenses are ready to go, my cards are wiped, ready to go. I, I'm at a, I'm at a loss here. That was really cool. It was just very weird. We were hearing a lot of noises up until that point too. So Eunice, was that you? Was that you? There's a noise over there. I don't know if you're hearing any of this. Hello? Guys, it's like a pressure shift. My ears are popping. Um, Eunice, if that is you, I'm pretty damn impressed right now. Usually this stuff doesn't happen like that. You're a very strong little girl. Man, my heart is just fucking racing. I'm still pissed off that it's not dark in here. So Eunice, can you give me a definitive answer whether or not that was in fact you? If that was you, could you knock on something? Make a noise?
The fucking hell was that? Eunice, is that you? Let me know that you're here. Do something, please. I'm hearing all sorts of weird crap. What does this say? What? You've got to be fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Okay, so guys, then my fucking camera just dies, so I gotta do another fucking clap track. Here we are. What the fuck? Okay, so light has died twice. Camera has fucking died once. Full battery on the camera. Full battery on the camera. It, it just stopped. It just fucking stopped. What the fuck is going on? Am I kind of pushing your buttons? Is that what I'm doing? No, you're not gonna lie, you're kind of pushing mine, that's for sure. Like you're, you're kind of starting to irritate me a little. Instead of killing my equipment, why don't you do something, make something move? Let's communicate in some way, please. This is intense. Guys, I don't understand it. I do not understand it. Something is over here. It's moving along this wall. We're still at zeros, over here. Got our EM pump still going. Our K2 meter is still going. So I guess my plan, or my goal, in doing all this was 
twisted that is fairly simplistic in nature, right? So basically all I wanted to do was investigate a room at a time. So like the next room that I want to do is Gracie's room, right? Which is going to be super cool, super dark. Um, <laughs> it'll be a lot of fun as long as the goddamn lights can cooperate. But I think it's fairly obvious that I, I poked some kind of a bear tonight. I don't know what happened exactly other than the light dying twice, uh, the camera stopping on its own, which is ridiculous. Um, my audio is still going. Thank God for that. Uh, knock on wood. But I, I don't know. I heard a lot of noises. I heard a lot of like weird anomalous type of noises, right? A lot of things that I can't explain away. And I know the sounds that this building makes, obviously. So, like I said, the next time that we do this, we're just gonna do Gracie's room. Um, and we'll do that. This was a lot of fun. Um, again, Frost, this is an awesome idea. I appreciate the hell out of this idea. Um, and yeah, it just makes sense. It just makes sense to do it. Did you hear that? That's me. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna edit this, which I'm not even really gonna edit this. Um, obviously the goal is it to be a continuous shot um, the whole damn time. Like, I don't want any jump cuts. I don't want any weird fucking music underneath it. I don't want... I don't want the mood to be set for you. I don't want the footage to tell you how to feel. I don't want that. I want pure, raw, uncut, unedited, just here. So really, I'm just going to put this together and put it out. Should hopefully be out tomorrow. That'd be great. That's my goal. Uh, so I'm going to get started on that. Then, <laughs> then we can work on a game plan for Gracie's room. But guys, thank you so much for uh, your continued support and, and, and love and all of that. Um, <laughs> and we'll talk to you very soon. I'm going to take all of this shit down and I'm going to start getting this ready. Uh, for all of you to watch. So we'll see you guys very soon. Thanks. Let's just shut this thing off. Okay, that and these basically the same time. Okay, audio, or excuse me, video is off, and now audio is off.